And the given image provides us with a comprehensive overview of the rock cycle. The graphic shows that igneous rock is formed from magma. If you follow the image closely, you can observe that magma is itself formed from the melting of either igneous rock or metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock is formed when heat and pressure is applied to either igneous rock or sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is formed from the compacting and cementing of sediment. Sediment is formed from the weathering and erosion of either igneous or metamorphic rock. Thus, the entire process is cyclical in nature. The graph shows global smartphone sales by operating system from 2009 to 2013. The biggest winner was by far Android. In 2009, the number of smartphones sold with Android was negligible, but by 2013 it was close to 800 million and dwarfed the other operating systems. In second place, for instance, was iOS with a less than 200 million. The biggest loser over the study period was Symbian. In 2009, most smartphones were sold with Symbian, but by 2013 it had completely disappeared. During the studied period, at least, the smartphone operation system market can clearly be seen, therefore as uh, quite volatile. This photo shows an idyllic coastal scene on a sunny day. There is a four-storey mansion built into the steep, densely forested coastal mountain. The lowest level of the mansion has stairs going straight down to the water, which is an inviting turquoise blue. The mansion itself is perhaps um, Mediterranean in style, with arches and sweeping balconies. There are two small boats anchored just offshore. Low-lying mountains can be seen further down the coast in the background of the photo. In my opinion, this is a very beautiful and scenic photo.
The graphic shows a snapshot profile of the top-ranked universities in four regions. Of the four universities compared, the California Institute of Technology is a definite outlier. First of all, it has significantly less students than the others, just uh, 2,181 compared to the 19,718 at the next smallest of the four institutions studied, Oxford. Caltech also has the lowest student-to-staff ratio of the four, meaning in theory students at Caltech get the most individual attention. Finally, uh, Caltech also has the lowest ratio of both female students and staff compared, meaning it's potentially the most male-dominated. The chart shows how much fuel is required per person to cover the distance of 350 miles using various modes of transport. According to the chart, the most efficient form of fossil fuel driven transportation, which requires just 1.5 gallon per passenger, is the bus. The least efficient form of transportation would be the average SUV, which if driven alone would require 17 gallons of fuel to make the trip. Interestingly, the average hybrid car, if driven with four people in it, would be almost as fuel efficient as a bus at full capacity. To conclude, there are big differences in fuel consumption depending on the vehicle chosen. The graph shows the number and rate of fatal injuries of workers in a given region from 1997 to 2016. The most striking feature of the data is that, with some minor fluctuations, there has been a steady and gradual decline in the number and rate of injuries. In fact, it fell from a rate of about 0.8 fatal injuries per 100,000 workers in 1996 to about half that in 2016. From 2010 to 2016, the rate has remained somewhat flat, which may indicate that uh, Further decreases in the number of injuries may not be seen in the near term future.
The map shows global homicide rates by country. Overall, the most dangerous regions seem to be Central America and the northern half of South America. From Mexico to Brazil, for example, homicide rates are consistently above 20. Much of Africa is also quite dangerous, but mostly less so than the Americas, with most countries in the 5 to 20 range. The safest regions are Europe and East Asia, with many countries showing less than 3. Mildly dangerous major countries include the U.S., 3 to 5, and Russia, 5 to 10. To conclude, homicide rates vary significantly by region, but Europe and Asia are the safest and the Americas and Africa are the most dangerous.